Okay, now I'm going to introduce the function of each buttons of this uh, uh, DVC3 casting machine. Here is the menu. Menu, we can take the menu to set parameters. Here is language we can set Chinese and English. We use English. And here is the, the thermal select. We can use, choose the different type of thermal, but normally we use K and R tab for R, K or R tab or M. And this is uptime. Uptime means, uh, because this machine is automatic, uh, automatic machine, for uptime means we put the up chamber to the right place or we put the down chamber to the right place. After two seconds, it will automat automatically unlock each other. So this is a up time. Um, this is a preset temperature. Preset temperature, if we use this uh, one key mode, so the machine will heat to this uh, uh, set value and it will keep this time until we do the next process. And these uh, four, uh, four buttons are for mixing. And this is minimum power. For example, we set um, 10%. And the maximum power, we set 8%. And the circle time, we set 0 0.7 seconds. Uh, the mean means when the power, when we do the mixing, when they reach the minimum power 10%, it is they uh, stop 0 0.7 seconds. And when the uh, power reach to maximum 80%, it stops 0 0.7 seconds too. And the total mixing time is six seconds. So this is a four button for automatic mixing. Uh, this automatic mixing is the electromagnetic pulse stirring function. And the, the, uh, the, this, these uh, five buttons are for the, uh, for the uh, negative cast, uh, pressure casting for the uh, top chamber, uh, for the top melting chambers. This is a new function for this DVC3 casting machine, but for all the DVC2 uh, casting machine without this function. For the leaking pressure, heating pressure, and melting pressure, this is factory setting, so we don't need to set. And we, but we can change this value. This is the pressure of the, the, the negative pressure of the melting chamber. If you do the cargo for low mo or low majority casting, we don't need the pressure, so we can we can set uh, we can say kind of the positive pressure. But for if we, for the pedigree, if we need the minus uh, cap, uh, pressure for the top chamber, so we set the value. We can set maybe minus thirty, and the cooling time we don't need to set. So this is the uh, negative pressure setting five buttons are for top melting chamber and we only ch change here you want the uh, faster casting speed we increase a little bit more and here uh, the street flask street flask is only when we do the flask without flange, flange we take it if we use a flask without with flange so we don't take it so let me uh, explain again this straight flask function is for flask without flange. If we use flask with flange, we don't take this function. And it's one key cast mode. One key cast mode, as I mentioned, uh, this is used uh, for flask without flange also. Uh, if we want to save time, we preset maybe 500, maybe 600 degree. So the machine will heat to 500 degree. Then, uh, the, the down chamber goes down, then we put the gypsum mode, the machine, and then we press the casting or pulling function, the machine will do the rest process. So this uh, uh, one key casting mode is for extra function for your options. So after we set parameters, we exact. Exact. And here is the temperature for the casting. For example, we do silver, maybe 1,000 degree, so we set 1,000 degree. And this is the homogenization temperature and time. Homogenization temperature is normally 30 degree higher than the uh, casting temperature. Uh, but this function is for, for the uh, mixing of alloy. If we all pre-mix the uh, metals in advance, so you don't need to use this function. But if you want to use this machine to mix the gold or other metals with alloy. So you set, normally uh, the homogenization uh, temperature is 30 degree higher, 30 Celsius degree higher than the melting temperature or casting temperature. And time we set 
120 degrees. Oh, sorry, 120 seconds. So homogenization time 120 seconds. Uh, because this uh, system uh, cut the homogenization working process by time. If we set too short time, when the time is up, but temperature still not reach the set value, this function will stop. So we recommend you to set 120 seconds if you use the homogenization function. And the heating power, heating power normally for jewelry casting we can set maybe 8 kilowatts, 8 to 9 or kilowatts, no need to be very high. And this is cover on. If it top cover are closed, so here lights on. And also if the down chamber closed, so here lights on. And if the uh, chamber up, uh, up or down chamber closed, open, so here open on. So the each process, uh, the working process can be seen the process on this screen. So each process is visible. And here is the furnace pressure, means the top chamber pressure and is a uh, uh, down chamber pressure. pressure. And this is a uh, uh, air pressure both from the air compressor. So it's working pressure, it is uh, uh, changeable according to the working process. Pouring time is the casting time. So it means uh, after the stopper lifts off, how many seconds uh, to pour the gold? And uh, then this pressure time means uh, after the flow pouring time, the pressure will start five minutes. Then stopper will close close the casting crucible. And the vacuum delay means after uh, pressure, the vacuum will continue working how long time? Or maybe if you set 10 seconds and 10 seconds. If you set 20 seconds, then vacuum will continue working 20 seconds. This is the organ gas pressure. Organ gas pressure depends. Uh, you can set 100 to maximum 200, but not the, the, the higher is better. It depends on your casting tray. If you set too high temperature, so it will be some burst on the surface. Uh, these buttons are for manual casting, but if you would do more automatic casting, we only need to press auto or pouring function. Other buttons we don't need to, to operate. But if we use the manual function, so we need to press each button one by one. So in order to let you understand each button, so I'm going to introduce the buttons one by one. This cover on, so this cover is means we, uh, after, we, after we put the top cover or down chamber into the right place, we cover on. Then up means we press this up, so the down chamber goes up. The washing, washing means uh, the way washing the crucible. Open cover means uh, after melting, if you want to open the top cover, we press open cover. This is for start vacuum. And this is, this is a clear function. Clear also to clear the crucible. This is the organ gas pressure. The P means uh, uh, protection gas. If we want to start the organ gas, so we press this function. Pressure, pressure means uh, after a uh, stopper lifts off, the metal grows, flows down into the uh, gypsum mold. Then we can, if we want to start the pressure, we press this pressure function, this button. Then after pressure, or after a vacuum, if we want to exhaust the pressure, so we press exhaust. And this is the heating function for heating, so this is easy to understand. And this supporting function is for casting. So hope now uh, the uh, function of the each button of this touch screen is clear to you. Also, I'd like to introduce the working principle of this machine. So after we set parameters of the uh, working, uh, working of the your, your gypsum mode, then we after we press auto automatic, then the machine will start uh, heating. Uh, sorry, after we press uh, the automatic, after we set parameters and after we set automatic button, the machine will start vacuum first. Once we see here, the both up and down chamber uh, become about minus uh, 80. So the machine will stop vacuum, but will uh, pour in organ gas. But normally, in order to make sure the good uh, uh, condition of the beam without 
uh, the air inside the chambers, we do two times vacuum. First vacuum to minus 80, then we will vacuum again. Then when the second time the pressure becomes minus 80, uh, the vacuum stops and the machine starts pouring again gas. So once we see air, the pressure is uh, about the normal uh, atmosphere uh, pressure, for example, about the zero. The pressure, uh, the, the uh, machine starts pouring out gas, then starts heating. So when the temperature reached, reached our set, maybe 1,000 degree, so the machine will, will, start, uh, will start exhausting of the air, of a gas, and remind us to put in flask or put in gypsum mode. Then we put the gypsum mode back, the machine will the top, the down chamber will go up automatic and continue uh, heating. Now, once the temperature reached to, to the, uh, the maybe close five degree reached uh, close to the set casting temperature, then the machine will do the homogenization process. If the we said, if this you need the homogenization process, so the machine will go for the homogenization process, uh, 120 seconds, then the temperature goes down goes down to five degree to the uh, casting temperature, the machine will start mixing according to the parameter we set, according to the minimum power and the maximum power and also the mixing time. After automatic mixing, the machine will start vacuum. Will start vacuum. So once the, the minus, uh, the pressure become a minus 80, so uh, the machine or stopper lifts off. So, and the pouring time, one second, then, uh, the machine starts pressure for five seconds. After that, the stopper uh, goes down to lock the closeable hole, and but the vacuum will continue working according to the value we set. After vacuum this time uh, is up, machine starts exhaust. Then, when the pressure becomes the normal atmosphere uh, pressure, the down chamber goes down automatically. Then we take out the. A gypsum mode from the uh, down chamber. So this is a fully working principle of this machine and the operation process about this DVC3 uh, digital automatic vacuum casting machine. Hope it is clear to you now. Thank you.